Oscar, and we're going to making peanut butter cookies. Hi, it's me, Mom. Isn't that right? That's right. Tell us the ingredients. Uh, white sugar, brown sugar, peanut butter, margarine, egg, flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Start with the sugar. Oh, sorry. Okay. So we need a whole cup of white sugar. I do it. I do everything because Oscar holds a camera. Ugh. No, Mom will hold the camera when I do stuff. You can put in the ground sugar. Did I say it's me, Oscar? You okay. did? Okay. Anyway. Gently pour that into the metal bowl over there. Great. Yep. Anyway. Alright, now a whole cup of brown sugar. Can I do this one? Yep. Can you hold it? Alright, let me get it in Let me hold it. No! You're not going to eat. I didn't even say anything. You're going to complain. We're not going to make this video. Okay? Well, I'm going to tell Ruby. Why do I want to tell her? That's complaining. <sighs> Can I have some? You have to pack down the brown sugar, otherwise it doesn't measure correctly. Okay, Oscar, are you going to dump this one in? Yeah. Make sure the buttons are, all, are on, like, the left. Yep. And then put in the brown sugar. Brown and white sugar. Thank you. Next step is butter. Right here. I want to do it. Do we need a lot? No, oh, no, we need a whole cup of oh, peanut butter. A whole cup of peanut butter. We're Me gonna too. be using a mix of peanut butter, uh, smooth and crunchy. Okay. Oscar, you're not gonna like the butter. It doesn't taste good. It tastes like nothing. Mm, this butter is a bit different. Different brand. It is a different brand. Anyway, kind of scrape it off on the top. Yeah. Anyway, sorry that I'm not talking much. I don't know. Usually we spark like a big conversation, but not right now. I guess I don't know. William's coming over. We might we might make a video with him. Is he actually coming over? Yeah. I don't know when. But peanut butter is Oscar's favorite. You might remember back to our peanut butter fudge video. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I know who the one. A little bit more of the crunchy. No, anyway. To make a cup full. Okay. All right. A cup of peanut butter. Yep. Can I get a good shot of it? Basically a whole jar of peanut butter. Okay. Crunchy peanut butter makes people fart. Is that true? Yes. How do you know? <laughs> okay. Peanut butter in. Yep. Next, a whole cup of butter. Okay. Me do, mama. Me do. Clean spatula. I want to do it. I want to do it. Fine, well, I do the next thing. Alright. Use a measuring cup because I know what a cup of butter looks like. It's a cup of butter. Alright. Anyway. It's getting close to mixing, guys. I can't remember if you add the egg first or not. Okay. Let's see. Peanut butter, shortening, margarine, and egg. Yep, we need two eggs. All Who's right. going to crack the eggs? Guys? Me. Me. I, I said I would do the next thing. I cracked both of them. Now I can crack one and you can crack one. You've done more than me. Let me do something. Mom, do you think it would be fair if me and Oscar both do one? Yes, you can both crack an egg. I've done less than her. I think I get to do two eggs. You're fine. Who's going first? Me. You want me to hold the camera or are you going to do it all? You should use both your hands to crack the egg. Actually, smash it, but not smash it because you always do it wrong. Yeah, I know. 
You crack it on the counter and then crack it into the bowl. It's... Take the camera, please. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. You're not dumb. Told me to use the camera. And the counter. You use both hands. Yeah, not but I'm stupid. You're not stupid. Well, clearly I am. No, just because you smashed an egg onto the counter does not make you stupid. This is how you should crack an egg. Watch Ruby. Crack it once on the counter and then use both hands to separate the shell into the bowl. Great. Now rinse your fingers. Can you pick that up and dump it in? Smooth. A real professional do that. That's right, Ruby. You did so good. Now a little splash of vanilla. Ooh, splash. vanilla. Dump it all in. Dump it all in. Great. About a teaspoon. And then you mix. Are we mentioning what we're making? Yes, you said we're making peanut butter cookies. Yeah, okay. Right? No, it's got raw egg on it now. Here's the fun part. Can I turn it on? Turn it all the you way on? You would do everything, no, Ruby. Turn it one click on. Would you like to turn it one click on? Yeah. Scrape the sides off so some of the butter gets stuck. It mixes all in with the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter is the sugars and the egg. Okay. And the vanilla. All the wet types of ingredients. And we'll do the dry yeah. flour and baking sodas next. Can I try some? Yes, you can try a little bit right there. Uh, I'll try it after the baking soda and stuff. the flour goes in. Because that will probably be tastier. <laughs> So now we need, let's see, here we have one, two and a half cups flour. So, I do want to ask you this one. Am I correct, Mama? Yep. Who's going first? Mm. One more? Yep. That's good. I'm putting this metal bowl. Great. Go, go. Let us do it. Yep. I'm keep it. We need two and a half, right? That's fine. I would put just a little bit more, like another half cup, please. Thank you. Anyway, you flour. Baking soda. One and a half teaspoons baking soda. Need my teaspoons. Sorry, Mama. Did I say baking soda first? Yeah. Yep. That's the one in the big box. Soda. Sure. Let me just do this one, please. Okay. Let me dump it in. Sure. Pop that in. And... It's stupid that I dump it. And a half. Good. Baking soda. Now we need a whole teaspoon of baking powder. That's in here, too. That's the one that's in the can. You're, you're good at doing this one. Yeah, I am. We can both do one, Mama. You gotta scrape it off on the ledge there. Yeah. Great. Now I'm gonna turn, Mama. No, you, you, you've done like... That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Put it back. You don't need more. Oh, there's only one? Yeah, just one. Okay. Uh. 
And salt. 149. Half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Ionized salt. Iodized, yes. Let me just do this one. Mm. Alright, fine. We'll be dunk it in. You don't want it to be too salty, but the salt needs to set off yeah. the peanut butter just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to get a little fork. Mix this together. You want to do the mixing gently, gently, so it doesn't powder over the sides. Okay, now we dump this into the mixer. We help them. Lock it. Can you start it? Just pull it forward one little click, gently. Yep. And just sprinkle it in. Yep, tap the bottom of the board. Hey, the big one, big one. Mom, I'm going to I don't know, we have to wait for the spirits. So let us know. Yep. I want to text him or call him somewhere, and I can text him. But he doesn't know what software I use for my next thing. We'll figure that out once he gets over here. But I really want to call him and text him to like ask him what he's going to do. Okay, Mama. Me dumping. Thanks. Also, he has like a he has like a mouth structure to make his mouth a palate. He's doing a peanut butter cookie video right now. Yeah. Oh. No, that looks a little better. Got to be a little bit thicker. Cookies is all about texture. Yep. Spin it fast and turn it off. Okay, I'm back up for one second. Now I want a bite. So this is a bite I'll have. This is a more dough looking. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's not sticky at all. That's perfect. That's perfect. Perfect cookie Here texture. Okay. Have some. Yes. Good. Great. Good. All right, so I'm going to get this cleaned off the mixer, and you got to put it in the fridge and let it chill for three hours before you can bake them up so the butter can reset so they don't uh, get too crunchy when you cook them. So we'll meet you back here, and I'll, you want to meet back after the baking, after they're completely done? I uh, mean, is there more steps in between there? No. Well, scooping. You have to scoop and put the fork. Sure, we can do this while second. Right. Okay, so we're recording this right at 152. Okay. Well, when this video uploads, it'll probably be like 1.45 or it'll something. Be 5 before we're ready to come back and do the step part 2 of the cookies. Yeah, that's what I meant. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna end it here. Or not end the entire video, but end this section. Goodbye. I don't know, follow these instructions. Hi. It's me, Oscar, and um. Hi, it's me, Mom. This is like two days later. <laughs> Right. Part, part two of peanut butter cookie making. Yep. They, the dough's been chilling. We're ready to get scooping with yep. our scoop. We're using a one and a half inch scoop. Okay. So you got to scoop it into balls. I never had a scooper when I was little, so I had to do it all by hand. But this is much quicker and easier with the scoop. Can I try? Yeah. Um, I don't know how much we see it, but we actually hit the off button. Uh, I learned how to scoop these. <laughs> Sorry, Oscar. We were just taking the scoops. Can you re-say what you said just to make sure? Oscar's been scooping uh, four scoops in. It was like he was doing it like a pro. Yeah. He switched back and let me do it again for a while. Yeah. What type of scoop are we using? One and a quarter inch ball scoop. Okay. Okay. I mean, we didn't miss too much with some well, I thought for. scoops were just for mashed potatoes, but yeah. then I learned they made little ones, and you could do them for not just ice cream, but cookies. Yeah. Okay, after we get them all scooped out, then we'll take a fork dipped in sugar and make crisscross patterns on the top. Classic yep. peanut butter cookie trademark. Yep. It is pretty classic. <laughs> We made a double batch because we're going to take some of these over to Grandpa's, one of Grandpa's favorite yep. cookies too. Shout out to Grandpa and Mimi. Shout out to Grandpa and Mimi. Hope you're feeling better, Mimi. Yeah. Oh yeah, she did break her arm. She did. It wasn't broken. They got extra. Okay, it wasn't well, broken, but it was really hurt and bruised up. Yeah. 
I do want, I do really want to build that set with her. I know. I know. We'll find some time, okay? Yeah. This is like the world's biggest cookie sheet. It fits perfectly in my oven, but it's nice for, you get the, most cookie sheets only let you do 12 or 13 cookies at one time. This one does like 28. Yeah, real diverse. We do have a bigger cookie scoop if you wanted a monster sized peanut butter cookie. I have a one inch scoop ball also, but it's just, uh, they're like ridiculously huge and it's hard to eat one in one sitting. That big of a cookie. Here's an idea for a big um, two year anniversary dollar cookie. Okay. So I'm making a chocolate chip cookie pizza, peanut butter cookie pizza. Okay. Oh, that reminds me, our cookie sheet is at Jesse's house right now. Oh, okay. Our round pizza pan. Oh, That's okay. what I meant. But we didn't make a pizza yesterday. Aren't you Sometimes going to Jess's to do laundry? I don't know. She, I think she's busy or sleeping because yeah. she's not responding to my texts. Well, I'll at least get the pizza pan. Yeah, I'll at least get the pizza pan. I have to go over there and get the rest of our laundry from yesterday. There's now since you mentioned that. Pizza does sound good. <sighs> One left. Ah! Can you do some math skills and count how many we have, Oscar? 27. Are you just guessing? That's what I said. Oh. Actually count them. There's four in this row. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six in this row. That's so six times four. That would be sign like uh that would be sixteen plus eight, I think. Yeah. I'm looking. That would be hmm, that would be uh Around 28? 24. Okay, 24. Two dozen exactly, but they're a little bit bigger. Alright, All right, so that's as many as we'll fit oh, on. Oh, sorry I did the math in my head. I I'm not the best at math. That's why I asked you to do it. I knew what it was. I was just seeing if you could yeah. do it. I think I'm bad at math, but my, my parents... Yeah. And yeah, math is just tricky yeah. for everybody. You're just, you'll get the hang of it. All right, so I, I think I'm worse than I actually am. <laughs> little dish. With, I don't know, I'll put like a quarter cup of sugar in there. You don't really need much. You're not adding a lot of sugar. It's just so that the fork tines don't get stuck in the cookie dough. Oscar, do you remember how to do this? You want me to give you a demo one? Yeah. Get the fork and the sugar and dip one way. Oh, yeah. Press a little bit, not all the way. Dip the fork and then turn the fork and press them the other way. Yeah, I can definitely do that. So there's a little, like, uh, cross mark pattern. Make sure you don't turn it off. Make, make I, very I've made sure I didn't hear any noise. Let's take the fork, dip the sugar, then... Okay. So, uh, we're we're doing the cookie thing. Sorry that mom ended the video. Is it, is it on? Yes. Okay. Sorry, honey. Oh, I, I see it counting down now. I, I wasn't trying to ruin it. So Oscar's doing the smashing. It's very important to smash not all the way down to the pan, but just a little bit. Make sure you're doing, uh, you got a little, a little bit more than that. Yep. Yep. Make sure you're going both ways with the fork. You need smash marks. Yep, yep, yep. Great. Already like a pro, like he's been doing it his whole life. Yes, I have. We've been eating peanut butter cookies his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got addicted. Finally, one day, he was old enough to help me with the recipe. Did you like the joke I made? It's a classic uh, picture of Oscar. I think it was chocolate chip cookies we were making that day, but he was probably two years old, and he'd stolen my bowl of dough <laughs> and went and was hiding where he thought was hiding when he was right in plain sight, but he was eating that cookie dough right out of the bowl, and he was so happy, and we got a picture That's of it. That's a classic Oscar moment. Classic I Oscar. I love my dough. He loved the dough. I think there's a similar picture with uh, biscuit dough. You'd stolen the biscuit dough bowl. <laughs> biscuit dough isn't as good. Yeah, but <laughs> pizza dough is like the to best. two year old Oscar. It's pretty great. Butter and cookie, flour. Chocolate chip cookie dough is probably the best. Dad agrees. Or, or it might be uh, those crusty old doughs. That was pretty good. There's dad. Some dad music. He's cleaning the house for us. We're Again? making him some peanut butter. Anybody cookies. who's fans about music, feel free to like what you like. We just have an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. And that's okay. Dad's going to sing some of it for us. Okay. Hopefully we don't get copyright. Whoa. Dad's going to be a little bit too smashy on that one. Okay. That's okay. I don't know if he's going to say it again. 
We did spray the pan with non-stick cooking spray before we started putting the cookie balls down too so they don't get stuck in the oven. There's plenty of butter in the cookie recipe so that they shouldn't get stuck to the pan, but you just never know. So I like to put just a little bit of cooking spray uh, down. Whoops, whoops, that one got a little stuck to the fork. This is a pancake. That's okay. It'll, it's going to bake up just as fine. <laughs> Careful, that one might stick to the cookie since yep. it got it a little more wet. It's really what the sugar is for. Make sure you really coat the fork with the sugar so it doesn't get stuck in the dough. Is there dough stuck on the tines? You can kind of wipe it off a little bit. And then that extra little bit of sugar just makes a little shine and a little bit of crisp sometimes to the top of the cookie, but not enough to make it crunchy. We don't bake them. Uh, when it comes to cookies, I really believe under baking is the key. Some people tell you that the secret ingredient is love. I believe the secret ingredient is cooking them two minutes less than they're supposed to. Because they get nice and gooey because and tasty. Then they stay nice and chewy. And we all love chewy gooey. We all love chewy gooey peanut butter cookies. What about this one? I know, the classic chocolate chip crunchy cookie made by, like, Crypto Hoy or whatever. Yeah. It's classic. It is like, classic and good. Make it gooey, and it will be ten times as delicious. <laughs> we really are partial to our homemade cookies. Yeah. We have good recipes, though. I've been perfecting these recipes for years. I think there's maybe this one left. And then we can put them in the oven to bake. They bake for, uh, it says, ten to twelve minutes, so we're going to check them in about nine minutes and see how they're doing. All right, great. We'll meet you back here in nine minutes. Thank you. Nope. Ah! Be Oscar and um, it's cookie eating time. Yes. Uh, some of them you smash down extra hard so they got a little uh, chewier. Have this one. Uh, I don't want that. It's burnt. <laughs> well, you smash some of them down a little extra hard. This one, bad. Great. Hmm. Not bad. A bit too burnt, though. Bye!